Hi, welcome to the Christmas Eve Climbing Daily Top 3 when we are talking all things Alpine. At number 3 we've got Innes Papert making the first ascent of Linku Chuli in Nepal. Climbing the Himalayas is pretty scary at the best of times, doing it on your own is another level. German professional climber Innes Papert has made the first ascent of Linku Chuli 1, a 6,700 metre peak in Nepal. She was originally in the area to do a new route on the north face of Tenkang Bocchi with her partner Thomas Senf. He joined her on the Linku Chuli, but he had to turn around at high camp due to frostbite and Innes pushed onto the summit alone. Innes summited on the pair's fourth day on the mountain. They had originally hoped to climb the east ridge, but very poor snow conditions meant that they had to then traverse the north face and Innes climb the north ridge on her own to the summit. Peak Paragosha, 6,770 meter. Ich glaube, ich weiß, dass ich heute der erste Mensch hier oben bin. Bold stuff, eh? At number two, we've got Killian Jorne smashing the record on the Matterhorn. This might not be a new route, might not be difficult climbing, but two hours 52 return from Chivinia is as groundbreaking as most of the first ascents we hear about. Now over to the Matterhorn, where Spanish mountain runner, climber and skier Killian Jorne has smashed the speed record for the mountain. Jorne has climbed up and down the mountain in two hours 52 minutes, which is 20 minutes faster than the previous record. Killian's been breaking all sorts of records recently. This is just one in a very long list. This guy's fast. There was only ever going to be one winner in this category and predictably enough, it's Uli Steck for his solo first ascent on the south face of Annapurna. Stefan Ben Wiest, who repeated the route a couple of weeks later, commented, when we saw him in Kathmandu, I knew he was ready to do something exceptional and he did just that. Uli's ascent began when his climber, Don Bowie, unexpectedly pulled out of the climb at the Bergsrund. But rather than giving up, Uli decided to push on solo. That moment to leave, I just had to go and let these people be there. And you can see on the pictures of the face, you climb quite a relatively gentle snow slope and then there's a big head wall. So when did you decide that you were just going to go for it? You're going to go all the way to the top? My idea was just go as long as I can. And then maybe in the night the wind drops again, like the night before. That was my hope. I, I tried to find a spot where I can set up my tent. I didn't find there, so I had to descend again a couple hundred meters and then I found a, a crevasse. To having a chance to climb this face so fast, it, it needs to be, if it's too technical, forget it. Impossible. So this was always, but I didn't make any pressure. If, if it gets too technical, I just go down, you know. What a beast. I hope he lets himself have a turkey dinner tomorrow. That's it for today. We'll see you then for our Christmas special. One sleep to go. Let's go by the China Jam Expedition. A 1200 meter, 15 day suffer fest with temperatures down to minus 15.